Hey there! If you're watching this, then you've either just purchased a new PC with Intel wireless display, or you've finally decided to get the TV adapter and set wireless display up on your home TV. Either way, congratulations! Wireless display, or Wide Eye, is a terrific feature that's really going to make your PC experience come alive. But before you can enjoy Wide Eye, you have to get it set up. Let's get to it! First, let's start with an easy one. Find the power cord that plugs into the wall, and attach the other end of that cord into the TV adapter. Then you can plug it into the wall. Next, it's time to attach your TV adapter to your TV. Now there are three ways to do this. Each TV is a bit different, so let's go over all of them. The first way is with an HDMI cable. These cables have flat ends that look like trapezoids. One end goes into your adapter, and the other end goes into your TV's HDMI input. Now if you can, this is the best way to go, since an HDMI connection can deliver both video and audio in a single cable with exceptional quality. If not, you can use analog cables. These are the red, white, and yellow cables that you've likely seen many times before. Hook them up matching color to color on both ends. Lastly, if your system has digital audio, you can use the digital optical audio connector. These are skinny cables that have tiny square shapes on the end. The connection is keyed so that the optical cable will only go in one way. It will snap in if it's inserted correctly. Any of these cables can be found at just about any electronic store, so pick up the best one that suits you. And that's it! Wide Eye is now installed on your TV. Now it's time to get set up. Make sure the TV and the adapter are turned on, Change your TV input so that you're pointing to the correct connected equipment, and you'll see a splash screen awaiting connection. Now it's time to launch Wide Eye on your computer. You might have an icon on your screen that you can double click, and you might even have a button on your keyboard that starts it. But if not, you can click the Windows Start button on your taskbar, enter Intel Wide Eye in the search bar, and click the program that pops up. Two quick things. You might get a message about a firewall. If you do, just make sure to allow access to public and private access. You will then see a licensing agreement. Read over it, and then click I agree to the terms of this license, if you do, of course, and then move on. All right, we're almost there. Your computer should start scanning for adapters now. If it doesn't, click the Scan button at the bottom of the window. Your adapter should appear in a new window labeled Detected Adapters, along with any other adapters in your immediate area. If it doesn't, try scanning again. Click once on the adapter, then click Connect. At that point, both your TV and your computer should say Connecting. If one doesn't, cancel it and try again. After a few seconds, a code will appear on your TV, and a window will appear on your computer, asking for that code. Once you do that, the connection is complete. A message will appear that says, Connected to Intel Wide Eye. Please wait. And then you're done! You may be asked to rename your adapter, which you can do if you choose, and then the image on your computer should now be mirrored on your TV. Next time you want to use your Wide Eye connection, make sure your adapter is on and the Wide Eye application on your computer is operating. And there you have it. Once you follow these steps, you'll be able to experience your PC in a whole new way, right on the big screen TV. Good luck and have fun.